Ms. Josnavi, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 70 in Electronics and Communication Engineering in GATE 2022. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Very proud moment, Josnavi. Uh, Josnavi, uh, tell us uh, what type of coaching program that you have availed from our AC Engineering Academy? I took coaching from Deep Learn, sir. Okay. Deep Learn okay. means recorded, recorded classes, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Recorded classes. When you take this program? Uh, I have enrolled in May 2021, sir. I took for six months. Six months subscription you have taken. Yes, sir. Right, right. Good. Uh, okay. So we have number of uh, recorded lectures there, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Daily, how many hours you used to watch there? Uh, I used to spend around six to eight hours, sir. Okay. At what speed you used to watch? Two x speeds. <laughs> 2x speed. Yes. Okay. Six hours on an average. Yes, sir. Six to eight hours. At a at a stretch, uh, at a stretch? No, sir. I'll take I used to take gaps. So at, at what interval you used to take gap? Uh like for one and a half, like for every one and a half hour, I used to take gaps. Sir. Okay, good, good. Okay. Uh, did you watch only one subject, otherwise multiple subjects daily? Only one subject, sir. Till completion of one subject, you watch that one subject. Yes, sir. Okay, right. Uh, uh, just if you tell us, uh, while watching the video at a speed of 2x, what you said, uh, could you prepare any notes also simultaneously? Yes, sir. Like for some subjects, I could write simultaneously, but for some other subjects, I used to stop the video and write, sir. Yeah, you have to pause the video and then you have to write there. Yes, sir. Okay, notes means what points you used to write in the notes? Uh, like first time when I was listening to the classes, I used to write everything in detail manner. But later when I revised in the month of November, December, I, I prepared my short notes again, sir. Right. Okay. Uh, regarding this question bank, how you used to practice? Uh, uh, like, like after every subject, I used to revise it and I used to solve workbooks or first like when i saw used to solve workbook i used to get a grip on the concept so after that i uh, also solved previous year questions and uh, other test series also okay uh just let me tell us uh, this uh, our deep learning recorded classes uh, yes. uh, are there sufficient for cracking this gate examination I can't tell that that is the only thing sufficient, but along with those classes, practicing from test series and previous year questions is also needed, sir. But yes, sir. yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, we have that uh, test series. I think we might have availed our test series also, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, see, did you watch all the videos there available in our deep learn? Uh, like almost all, sir, except in aptitude and. Uh, Yes, sir. In aptitude, I didn't watch a few videos. Why? Any but, reason? Any reason for that? Like I actually like my subscription is done. Six month subscription. Okay. So I yeah I've prepared from the textbooks given by AS Academy and practice right. also helped a lot. Okay, right. So you did feel the need of that also, right? Yes, sir. But okay. all core subjects in mathematics I watched. Okay. Okay, Josh Navi, right. Uh, uh, did you refer to any test book additionally or these lectures are sufficient, more than sufficient for you for your gate examination? Uh, no, sir. I didn't refer any textbooks. What do you say? Is it necessary to refer to test books further? For me, for uh, like for my preparation, I found it sufficient. So those classes, are, those like those classes covered almost every topic. Right. So I found them sufficient. So there is no need to refer uh, to extra textbook additional. Uh, if, like whenever I used to get doubts, after I revise once or after I see the next topic, those doubts also used to clear get cleared. Good. Yes. Good. Yeah. Uh, one more, uh, Josh Navi, right? To see, while watching the videos, if at all you come across certain doubts, etc., even in the revision also. Yes. In fact, we have made some facility there. Yes, sir. How to raise your doubt, right? Yes, sir. I've asked the expert there. Yes, sir. But uh, apart from asking expert, you have that fresh chat also, right? Ah, yes, sir. Uh, so you might use all those facilities to raise yes, your doubts. Sir, I use, sir. I used to ask in that ask an expert option, and I 
also attended this doubt clearing sessions also sir yeah occasionally we used to connect even yeah. i mean at some at the intervals we used to connect that uh, doubt clearing sessions also yes so you avail all those facilities there yes sir. good good uh, uh just let me tell us uh, uh which college are you from when did you pass out your btech degree i i graduated in 2021 sir from cbit local hyderabad student yes right? sir okay 21 pass out passed out yes sir. in which month did you pass out uh june june passed out right yes that the six to seven months of time you have spent exclusively on this gate preparation yes sir only for gate right uh, i think you might have given uh, gate examination 2021 also yes sir i gave uh, what was the rank during that time uh i got in between 4000 to 5000 yes yes sir. maybe because the lack of preparation guidance etc right yes sir okay just let me tell us uh, uh, compared to your previous uh, gate 2021 preparation in this gate 2022 2022 preparation what modification you have done what extra amount that you have prepared there is a lot of difference sir because uh when i prepared for 2021 gate i've prepared only for 2 to 3 months and i prepared the subjects which i'm very good at like i prepared maths digital circuits and log circuits and some concepts from networks and at that time we had exams in january and december sir like we had exams of both six semester and seven semester at the same time so it was hectic for me and i couldn't prepare well and i prepared from my own like my own classroom notes and some youtube lectures okay. whereas for this year gate exam i took coaching because, and because of this i had notes for everything at one place and for all topics i have the notes and i have all the preparation material for me at one place right. previous year that was that was not the case Right. So, I understand that just now, right? Yeah. That made a difference, right? Yes. Sir. Moreover, this time we had a lot of time also with you. Yes, sir. Preparation. Yeah. One more thing, just now, uh, some students they say that uh, watching the deep learn recorded uh, videos, uh, sitting at home, right? You require a lot of uh, self drive, uh, interest, etc. Compared to offline coaching, etc. Yes, sir. Uh, what was uh, your take in this particular uh, aspect? so sometimes even i used to like like it's very we have to push ourselves and watch the videos sometimes even i used to get uh, like it is very hard for me at that time i used to take break for one hour or two hour or do something other work and come back to this place again because that is the only option i have i like i am not doing any job and anything this is the only option for me i have to study <laughs> so you felt the need of and necessity of the talks right yes sir you have to study you have to study yes, sir. but thing as i said that uh, watching continuously uh, the videos means it may become boredom after some time so whenever you feel bored you have to give some relaxation and they can come back yes, and you have to push forward yourself isn't it yes sir right uh, what about the test series that you have held from ac uh, academy did you take all the tests uh I have been take all the tests, but most of the tests I have attempted, sir. Mm. I have started attempting, like, uh, like while preparing, while uh, listening to the classes, I have written very few tests. But uh, I started my full time revision from November. By November, I completed all the classes, listening to all the classes. From November, first I have written topic wise tests, and then subject wise tests, and then finally in January, I gave my full length tests. Sir. Okay, right. One more, uh, just now, right? While watching the videos, you said that you have prepared some notes, etc. Yes. Sir. Uh, apart from that, did you prepare any other extra short notes, something like that? Yes, sir. Like while revision, after while revision, I uh, prepare short notes for few subjects, and for few subjects, I used to highlight in my uh, full notes. Full length notes, highlight, yes, highlight, sir. right? Yes, sir. So those highlighted points you used to revise. Yes, sir. As and when you feel need of. Yes, sir. Okay, right. Yeah. How many revisions you might have carried out, approximately? Uh, I think three times, sir. Do you think uh, the three times revision sufficient for student? It depends, sir. Like uh, first two times, like uh, two times I gave full time revision, and the third time I revised my short notes and the highlighted text. So if like few, uh, it depends on the student actually. If, yes, 
we our grasping power is more maybe few people for few people two times revision is also sufficient for me the uh, three times revision is not which i set up before like whenever i feel like i'm forgetting the concepts whenever i try test series i feel i forgot some formulas so like that i revised again and again so finally it was almost like three times yeah the students uh, have to decide themselves right yeah. uh, whenever they are not uh, able to recollect or whenever they try to attempt those mock tests etc if they are not scoring enough it means the revision is not sufficient they have to go for revision yes, right that is to it's a student specific point actually okay uh, what was your approach uh, before one week or 10 days of the actual like, date of examination uh, for me actually i used to get very less marks in full length mock tests sir my of all the mock tests i have written i think i have scored only two times more than 50 marks and my highest was 55 so the like what i felt is i'm i'm forgetting the formulas and i'm i'm like i'm forgetting the concepts so what i did is one week before i stopped writing the mock tests and i completely i was completely studying my notes so and whenever i remember anything i used to open that subject and revise that again and again last one week i did only revisions sir and good. i was with a positive hope that's it yeah, good 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 josh navi uh, what was your strategy on the day of uh, actual gate examination the 3 hours of time so 65 questions in what way you wanted to attempt and what you actually did in the examination room first thing is i wanted to be tension free sir because that is the main thing like what like how much we study if we are tensed on that exam uh, like we can't write it properly so approach in the sense like i just went with the flow sir so as per the sequence of the questions that they appear yes, in the yes sir as per the sequence okay if i feel any question is very big and it requires so much of uh, problem solving i used to mark it and uh, work it on later later right yes sir, but i did that for very few questions most of okay. the questions i went with the flow right right uh josh navi from your experience what do you want to suggest to the aspirants of the gate examination those who want to uh, take this uh, yes uh, deep learn uh, recorded lectures program what do you suggest them how to use it effectively can you say few elaborated points on this yes sir like sir as deep learn is something which uh, it has all recorded classes so we have to push ourselves and study if, if in offline classes it is different like we have a particular timing to go and study here we need to push ourselves a lot and proper planning is also required uh in offline classes whatever the subject they teach we we study that here in deep learn that is not the case so i feel like uh, for some students studying one subject would be fine like me for some students they don't study one subject like they can study multiple subjects at the same time so according to the students interest they have to plan accordingly and at least start uh, preparing according to the plan so commitment is very important yes sir. that is a point right yes sir all of the interest you require to have a commitment from the student side yes sir so if you have real commitment real focus that a desire to crack the examination automatically you tend to watch the videos yes, serious sir. isn't it yes sir. Uh, right uh, uh josh navi with this uh, gate 70th rank what do you want to do i want to go for mtech sir I'm taking one to study, right? Yes, so, which specialization you are thinking of? VLSI, sir. VLSI, because you got 70th rank. I think definitely you get a VLSI, micro times of VLSI in some premier IIT, right? Yes. So, sir. very nice. Uh, thank you, Josh Navi, for sharing your uh, points. Uh, and moreover, uh, last one more question: uh, Do you want to say any any more points? to the aspirants of the gate examination particularly from your electronics branch of engineering uh, yes sir like uh, so for so in my case i like uh, in my case i got more marks in final exam than compared to full and mock test so whenever i used to get less marks in mock test i used to feel depressed but 
they they but every person should have some positive hope in them like they have to study more and more they have to rectify from their mistakes and then study and uh, then then and then only they can crack the final exam yes. so yeah commitment and positive positivity are very much needed then having like of course having good concepts having strong be, becoming strong at basics is also needed but more than this commitment and positivity is more important i feel yes i do agree with that right just now yeah. just one more point one more point that came to my mind now in your electronics there are many subjects like a control system networks digital analog like communications and all uh, did you follow any particular sequence yes sir uh, can you tell us uh, what will be the appropriate uh, sequence of studying these uh, subjects in our electronics branch yes sir like uh, first i started with control system sir uh, and later on sir uh, for uh, analog circuits we need network theory basics and electronic devices basics so first i studied electronic devices network theory and then i studied analog circuits and at the same time communication needed uh, signals and systems basics so after studying signals and systems i went for communication and later on i uh, electromagnetic theory and mathematics i have studied so so the sequence you followed yes sir okay what was your uh, approach towards this uh, aptitude part of the examination uh did you make any extra effort to make thorough yourself in the aptitude part i like i sir i uh, read the concept from the textbook for some concepts i've read i've seen videos sir mm. and i used to practice from mock tests and uh, previous year questions previous year questions have helped me a lot in aptitude sir previous year questions yes sir of course even the technical side also previous questions will certainly yes sir uh, give you a lot of uh, useful information yes regarding the depth of the questions areas to be covered and all isn't it yes sir previous year questions must for any examination yes sir definitely and uh, one more one more let me ask this question see in your ec uh, among those subjects what you have mentioned uh, which are the highly scoring subjects uh scoring from your side normal students say that uh, control systems networks yes, like sir. that what do you want to say highly scoring subjects highly easy e uh, scoring and easy subjects easy subjects are network theory control systems uh, and uh, maths of course but highly scoring are electromagnetic theory electronic devices sir, because those subjects are very bulk bulk in amount and uh, um, and we get more marks from those like if we are very good at concepts we can easily score marks in those subjects okay Right. Yes, sir. and they also have good weightage in the examination. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Josh Nami, thank you once again. Thank you once again. I once again congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Securing that seventieth uh, rank in the gate examination, and I wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, sir. All the best. Thank you. Sir.